Happy first grade. Let's read a story today. Before we get started, I want to read us some things to think about, okay? Has there ever been a time when you were left out of something? How did you feel? Being left out hurts. Although everyone can't play together all the time, it is important to be kind and try your best to help everyone feel included. In this story, a child does not want to invite someone else to play, but he and his friends later discover what it feels like to be excluded or left out by others. As you listen to the story, think about what the characters might be thinking and feeling when they are the ones left out, and also when they are the ones excluding others. This story is called The Game of Tag, so let's get started. One day, on his way home from school, Kenny stopped along the path and plopped onto a bench, sighing loudly. As he looked across the park, he saw a lot of kids talking and laughing as they headed towards the playground, the ball fields, or their homes. Kenny watched a couple of kids race past him on sco scooters, and he felt like the only person in the world with nothing to do. Just down the path, Annie and Jordan were talking about their plans for the afternoon. Hey, look, it's Kenny, said Annie, pointing towards the bench up ahead. Maybe we should ask him to come to the playground with us. Jordan frowned a little. He's probably just waiting on someone. What if we just ask him? said Annie, walking more quickly down the path. Jordan stopped and crossed his arms. I thought it was going to be us hanging out today. We planned it a week ago. But Kenny is by himself, said Annie. What if we all hang out together? <sighs> all right, agreed Jordan. I guess we could invite him. Doesn't sound like he's being a very good friend. Kitty's face lit up when his friends asked him to come to the playground with him. I was feeling really lonely this afternoon, he explained. Oh, really? asked Jordan. Well, I'm glad we stopped and asked you to come. When the three kids got to the playground, they saw a lot of kids that they didn't know. Those kids don't go to Harmony Street School, said Jordan. As they started running onto the playground, a kid with red hair came over and stood in front of them with her arms crossed. We're already playing tag, she said. No one else can play here or you'll be in our way. But the other playground is all the way across the park, Jordan protested. Just then, a few more kids came their way. Do you want to play tag with us? One of them asked. The red-haired kid looked at the, him and shook her head. They're from a different school, she whispered. Her friend laughed. Oh, it's okay, he said. It's not like we own the playground. Let's just all play together. So the red-haired kid agreed to let Jordan, Annie, and Kitty join the game of tag. The red-haired kid was it. Everyone scattered across the playground. And then she called, okay, here I come. The red-haired kid ran after one of her friends, but he made it safely back to home base. Then she ran after a one, another one of her friends. Then another friend. Annie, Kitty, and Jordan waiting for her to try to catch them too. She didn't even come their way. Well, this isn't very much fun, grumbled Kitty. Annie ran very close to the red-haired kid, but she still didn't try to catch her. Finally, Annie stopped and looked right at her. Hey, she said. You told us that we could play with you, but you're not really letting us play. You aren't even trying to tag us. That's not fair. The kid's cheeks turned as red as her hair. Yeah, you're right, she admitted. Then the red-haired kid smiled at Annie. Sorry I was leaving you out of game, she said. Then she reached out and tapped Annie on the arm. Tag, you're it! She yelled and ran towards her base as Annie laughed and dashed after her. While Jordan, Annie, and Katie played tag with their new friends, they found out that one of the kids is going to be a student at Harmony Street School next year, and that Jordan and the red-haired kid went to the same summer camp. Even though the kids were from different schools, they actually had a lot in common. 
Whoever is it has to close their eyes and listen for the other players to move around so you can find them and tag them. It makes the game a lot harder. Everyone agreed to give it a try, and it was Jordan's turn to be it next. I'll just watch you play, said Jordan, walking over to sit on a bench. The red-haired kid followed him. Why don't you want to play with us anymore? She asked. Jordan pointed to his ears. I wear hearing aids, but when it's really noisy like it is at the playground, it's hard for me to hear. If I close my eyes, I don't think I'll be able to find anyone. So I'll just watch. The red-haired kid grabbed Jordan's hand and pulled him to his feet. What if we thought of another way to make it work? She said, we aren't going to leave you out of the game. The kids talked and decided that they would play partner tag. Partners would have to link their arms and stay together during the whole game. Jordan's partner was the red-haired kid. When they were in, they closed their eyes and crossed their arms together. She would tell Jordan when she heard the other players move, and that they would feel around together and try to tag them. It was a lot of fun to play that way. When it was time to go home for dinner, everyone said goodbye to their new friends. Thanks for including us, Annie called as she waved to the other kids. Sure thing, said the red-haired kid. It was a lot more fun, including everyone. Thanks, you guys, for listening. Remember, it's always a good day to make a new friend. Be kind to those that you see. You never know what they have going on in their life. I'll see you next week for another Harmony Story.